Hi, so continuing on with a little mini-series that I'm doing on coping with stress. I laughed because I didn't realize it was going to be a mini-series, but uh, not like a mini-series, like a drama, like, like that, sort of anti-drama. Okay, so I have mentioned this in one other video, but what I'm going to show you is a uh, mantra that is very, very powerful. Okay, so I'm taking off my mala beads. Mala beads, you can actually get them very inexpensively. Um, if there's, well, you can get them online, and especially if they come from India, I think we're talking like, or they've been imported from India and they're here, you're talking under $20 and even 12 or 14 uh, these particular mala beads are rudrushka and, um, and like crystal, okay? So the mantra that I'm going to give you is very, very powerful. I'll put links um, to more explanations if you want of this mantra, but it is Om Namo Narayanaya. Om Namo Narayanaya. I'm mentioning it again. Like I said, I mentioned it in one video with other things, but it's really a beautiful mantra, you guys. Um, don't get mentally stuck on specifically what's a mantra for and what's its exact meaning. What happens is, as you work with it, you begin to see the benefits, okay? And that, it basically, this mantra will balance you. So the main uh, benefits that you might see with this mantra are calming the mind, cooling you down if you are very stressed and very agitated. So as I'm recording this, there's a lot, a lot of negative things going on. And you're probably a spiritual person if you watch my channel. And so I really want to provide ways that you can deal with your stress as a sensitive person um, with so much going on in the world. Okay? So the mantra is Om Namo Narayanaya. Om Namo Narayanaya. Now it's often just said like, oh, it's for world peace. But what it does is it starts internally creating a peaceful energy flow and energy patterning within you, okay? I have seen that effect myself. And then what happens is people around you treat you differently because your energy, your emanation, your vibration is different, okay? So if you can get a set of mala beads, um, Okay, they have 108 beads, and there's, you know, it's all, spirit, I believe, cares about your intention. That's the most important thing. So if you do something wrong, um, don't worry. Just have a pure heart and a pure intention. Now, it's getting dark as I'm filming this because it looks like it's going to thunderstorm. But what you would do is you would do 108 repetitions on your mala beads, and you would use your third your third and fourth finger. So it's over, it's between my thumb and my fourth finger, and then it would be Om Namo Narayanaya, Om Namo Narayanaya, Om Namo Narayanaya, Om Namo Narayanaya. Okay? So I'm just gonna do a little bit. Om Namo Narayanaya, Om Narayanaya, Om Namo Narayanaya, Om Namo Narayanaya, Om Namo you could start out loud, okay? Stay with out loud if you know your mind's gonna wander. But if you can, you can go to whispering, to softly, and then silently, okay? And that's the most powerful when you're repeating the mantra silently. So you move the bead with the middle finger as you do one repetition. So you just move it along, okay? As I said, your intention, if you do anything wrong, it's okay. In India, it's taught that very, you know, you have to do this exact, you have to do that exact. But start with a pure heart and say that you're reaching out to the divine for help and for guidance and everything will be fine. Um, it's nice if you've taken a bath and you have on nice clean clothes and you have your mala beads. And as I said, one repetition, you move the bead, okay? When you get to the end, I believe this is, yeah, the Meru. You don't cross this. So you would finish, like you'd finish with this last bead, and then you would just go backwards, right? So you go back and forth. You don't cross, you don't cross this center bead, okay? So when you would finish, so say I had done 107, and then that's the 108th, 
then you would turn around and go away again around, okay? So even if you just want to repeat, if you're very, very stressed, you could just repeat to yourself the mantra. Om Namo Narayanaya, Om Namo Narayanaya. Okay, so it brings inner peace and many other benefits can unfold, again, depending on your karma and uh, what your needs are. It is related to Vishnu and Vishnu in the Vedic understanding from India is the aspect of the divine that has to do with maintaining and um, maintaining sort of peacefulness and um, righteousness and orderliness. So, you know, it, it, it keeps balance in the world. It's that quality of, of balance and regularity and positivity in the world. And as I said, it'll bring that to you and then your energy changes. You could do it for 30 or 40 days. As I said, I'll put some links below for more information, all right? And um, you could get some very inexpensive mala beads, 10, 12, 14 dollars, depending where you find them. And do the practice for 30 days, 40 days, and then just see, look back and see any shifts. It may be subtle. A lot of that depends on you. It depends on how like crazy and stressed your life is, and some of it does depend on uh, karma. But you should notice some benefit from this chanting. I'm going to end by just chanting that all the way to the end of the video. Om Namo Narayanaya 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 Om Hare Om Shanti Shanti Shanti